he questions the same thing why a tiger is obviously talking to a boy who's bigger and quicker and smarter than him. Anyways, Blue comes to the rescue just in time. Also, this. Bear Amos, the other white meat baby. Anyways, the chasing gets very interesting and scary for young kids to watch this. Anyways, Shere Khan fights Baloo up. Luckily, a bit of lightning hits the tree. The vultures find off Shere Khan while Mowgli ties the fire on the tiger's tail. Making them run away. And we get to another scene where young kid that seen this was scarred for life. Thinking that Baloo has laid there and died, but he lives. And Figuero starts being like a great preach, saying wonderful words to him. In the background magically changes as they were in the middle of a desert and grow into plants because of the rain. Hey, don't stop now, Baggy. You're doing great. There's more, lots more. Anyways, they're happy that he lives and they were going to live their lives in the rest of the jungle until this character shows up. A female. Or in their time, girl cub. Or what she's called in the sequel, Shanti. Luckily, he starts falling in love with her. Is the only way to get his attention from the jungle and ends up in a man village. It's farewell to them. I was all singing that song, My Own Home, was an alright song, too. Also, I like this scene where he tries to decide whether he goes to the jungle or into the man village, but chooses her. Because you can tell he wants to be with her. Mm-hmm. I guess you're right. And they end the song. <clears throat> end this movie with a song. Well, come on, Baggy Buddy. Let's get back to where we belong. And get with the bees. Look for the bare necessities. The simple bare necessities. Forget about your worries and your strife. I mean the bare necessities, oh my. And that was The Jungle Book, 1967. It was great back then, and still. Still is today. There's still countless of arts of them. 
especially a world World to be four thing on the website, which most of you might know it exists. So after 50 years, well, 52 years, years of this movie, it's still one of my favorite ones. And this was Disney's last moment of doing this film. In 1966, before he passed away, which is very sad. This was his very last film he did. May that wonderful man rest in peace. He was actually born in 1900. 1900 something. But I'm so glad he did this. Want to be his last moment of doing animated films until he, other people took take his place. Ace to do interesting 1970 films, films like um, Robin Hood, which also recycles the animation. Sword in the Stone, which also does the same thing. The film was a huge success. Either you love this movie or hate it. It's still one of my favorite ones and my great childhood dreams. I would say this is one of my most interesting favorite films of all time. Songs are great, voice acting perfect. Everything in the background and the animation still looks superb even though they recycled them. And I just love this movie a lot. The DVD and Blu-ray do have better quality. I would say it's an interesting film to watch over and over again if you have kids. Baloo has been my favorite character since I was a young kid and have a spin-off series called Tailspin. But most people might not remember now, but still a great series with Baloo in it and obviously King Louie. He's in it too, because you have to have those interesting characters, except for Bagheera, Ka, and the elephants that are not in it. And no humans in it either. No Mowgli, just replaced by a bear kid that acts like him, but more cooler. So all I can say is, this movie was a great office box success. People work really hard on it. They use like a drawing sketches to make Mowgli wear different types of underwear or red, blue, whichever lion claw they go with. Anyways, I dragged this video on long enough. Thanks for listening and. Happy birthday to me, since I'm 28 today. I know I didn't you sides of my hair, so I can look pretty cool. Also, I got this. It's hard to go But I like, love the song I'm like, too tired of it. Do I look vexing or what? Anyways, enough of this song. That's all I can say is the movie was a huge success. It's still 
hold up today, and most likely the sequel. And yes, I love the sequel too. Don't care what people say. Sure, it's basically you know, like the same, almost the same as the first film, but dang it. The animation of it still looks pretty good. Anyway, it's already been like almost 11 minutes into this video, and I'm gonna wrap this up right now. Leave a like and subscribe and put down the word. I doubt most people that are watching this right now might leave a delay title Happy Birthday e Eli e today and most likely tomorrow saying the word late birthday. But anyways, I'm all right with that. Anyways, I'll go to Corral and enjoy what they got there. There. So, yeah. Okay, goodbye.